Moin Moin and welcome to Ralph's Photo Booth. Today I want to show you my review of the uh, Olympus Pen EPL5. That's the newest member of the uh, Pen family from Olympus. Yeah, it comes with a 16 megapixel Micro Four Thirds sensor and uh, interchangeable lens. Here we are, the, here's the sensor and um, the lens. And it has some nice features I will show you uh, on my review. So let's turn the camera on. On the top we have the on off button, the shutter release and the uh, program dial. So let's press the uh, on off button. And um, on the back side, the, the camera says that you have to uh, unlock the lens. So that's very easy. Just turn the lens and it unlocks. So put away the lens cap, and here we are. Um, also on the top we have the shoe for the flashlight, but it's not only for the flashlight, it's also for um, some accessories of Olympus, for example an um, electronical viewfinder, because the EPL5 doesn't have a viewfinder, it only comes with a LCD monitor, so if you would like to have a viewfinder it's no problem, you have these small um, uh, electronic viewfinder, just put it on the camera and here we are. So it's very handy, it's very compact, just put it away and put it in your pocket and that's it. It's not very expensive so um, it's a nice, nice thing to have um, on bright light so if, if the, if the uh, control monitor is, is uh, not so good visible you could use the electronic viewfinder. So and the camera doesn't have a flashlight so um, Olympus gives you the, the external flashlight so um, just by putting it on the camera so here we have the flashlight. So it's included in the in the starter kit of the camera. Um, you don't have to buy it extra. So you can buy you can buy uh, uh, better flashlights with 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 uh, much more power. Yeah, that's for sure. So on the back side of the camera, we have different buttons. We have the uh, the replay, trash, and um, here we have the uh, info button and the menu. We have the uh, the program dial and the four-way button and the OK button in in the middle of the camera. Yeah, one really nice feature of the uh, Olympus is the uh, monitor because you can put it this way. Then you can put it this way and turn it down. And um, the this model has um, the possibility to move the screen up so far that you can look um, from the front directly in the screen for self uh, pictures or uh, videos uh, where you can want to control yourself. So that's that's very nice and um, very important. The um, EPL5 has a touchscreen monitor, so it's uh, very easy to use. I will show you later how it works in the menus and how you can um, work without a focus. It's, it's very nice. So first of all, I want to show you the menu and one very, very important thing. Um, if you get the um, camera new, there are only uh, four points in the menu. So there's one very important um, part of the menu which is hidden. And um, first of all, you should, um, you should um, um, make it visible. So go on this uh, small thing here and then we have here the point menu display and that's uh, the point where you get the system menu, the big system menu, where all the, the, um, the important features are in. So let's see, go there and then we have the menu display and that's the one you have to turn on. The other, the other menu, um, this one is not so important but I will turn it on too so you will see how the, the complete menu looks like. So you see we have here these two points now in the menu. So that's one of the, f the first things you should do before starting with a camera and um, 
Yeah, now let's have a let's have a short look um, to the uh, menu. Here we have the shooting menu with a card setup uh, and uh, the um, the um, the resolution. You see, we, we we can choose between RAW and different JPEG resolutions. Um, I go to the this one. Uh, for the movie we have the same, you have uh, different uh, movie resolutions, um, uh, the um, EPL5 uh, records in a full HD and you also can uh, go to uh, Motion JPEG. And that's very interesting if you want to um, uh, cut the videos on an iPad or iPhone or uh, any other mobile device because the, um, the, the AVHCD format is um, not good for um, working on an iPad. So the, the MPEG format is very good. So um, yeah, that's a, that's a nice feature. Um, then you have the uh, image aspect where you can change between 16 and 2, 9, 3, 2, 2, 2, uh, 2 1 by 1 and 3 to 4. So it's very nice. The camera shows you the different resolutions on the screen. So let's set OK. Then you have the digital teleconverter. So that's not very important because you use um, you use different lenses. So I would not uh, suggest to use this. And on the second shooting menu, menu you can uh, change uh, the um, the uh, self timer and the speed for the um, uh, picture for the picture um, speed. So you can have the image stabilizer, um, which is for still picture and movie diff uh, uh, different. Because if you uh, make a movie and turn the camera from the right to the left, the image stabilizer only should. Uh, compensate uh, the moving in this direction, not in this direction. So that's that's very important to change. Uh, then you have uh, bracketing, multi-exposure, and um, that's it. So now let's go to the most important menu. That's the custom menu. Here you have a lot of settings you can do. Um, I only will show you the most important because um, if I show you all of them, uh, the, the the video should go an hour or so. Um, maybe I will I will make another movie uh, or another video where I show some more of the um, uh, functions you have in the in this menu. One very important um, one very important thing um, you should change is um, show you is um, the info setting. Because in the info setting, um, you should go to just a second, please. You should go to the point here. No, sorry, that's the wrong one. Just a second, please. Oh, no, here we are. Control setting. Sorry, and the control setting and the control setting very important. Um, you should uh, turn on the uh, live control on, live guide on. So all these all these settings you should turn on. Also for the uh, other pro for the other programs. Just a second for the other programs. Live control on SCP. You should turn on. I show you why, and the same for uh, the art program. Also here, turn it on, and here turn it on too. So, and for the scene programs, the same. So and I will show you why. Um, this is so important. Um, here we have the different settings for the display. Uh, you see there are lots of points uh, you can you can set up and lots of different settings, noise filter, um, 
so it's 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 a very very long menu where you can customize the camera and um, you probably could change everything um, in the camera who is changeable so okay so here we are so the the, the point what I changed in the in this menu is um, if you press the OK button um, no, just a second I have to turn it to P so if you press the uh, OK button you will see all the important settings on one view so there are the the most important settings like ISO white balance um, uh, picture quality and um, uh, the the different uh, autofocus methods so it's very nice you have it you have it concentrated in the middle of the of the screen and very nice you can go with the touch screen to the different positions you don't have to to uh, work with uh, the dial or something like that you can go with a touch screen just by putting uh, the 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 point you want to change and um, so that's that's very nice the the usual um, menu looks like this go to the info button and then you see you have the points the setting points on uh, the side of the of the display it works almost the same so you can change it here too but it's not it's not as concentrated and it's not um, a touch screen so change it back press the ok button press the info button and you're back to the touch screen function and uh, to the possibility to change it directly it's a little bit difficult for me so directly um in the middle of the screen so let's see um, one important thing is um, to change the uh, autofocus method so let's go here and now we go to the autofocus method that's the point here press the OK button and now press again the info button and as you see by putting the upper button on the on the dial we have the different settings um, for the um, it's a little bit difficult just let me see I will close the lens then it's a little bit easier to see um, so if you press the button and then the info button you can make the different settings by turning up so you have uh, uh, only the, the the one square in the middle or you have a little bigger one or you have the whole grid or you have uh, nine uh, squares or nine, nine frames together by putting the the, um, the 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 button you can direct um, the uh, different frames to a special point where you want to have it so let's go back to the info button and let's have only one little frame and back you can put the frame the autofocus frame anywhere you want so that's that's very easy um, to handle you see the the autofocus frame now is uh, here on top on the, on the on the corner and the camera will focus on it if you want to change the autofocus point just press it twice and then the autofocus point you can move the autofocus point anywhere you want and you see now we have the autofocus point uh, on a point where it's no autofocus here we are so that's that's very easy to change the autofocus setting and to change uh, the, um, the the autofocus area yeah, and another point uh, I will show you is the manual focusing. Just go back to the uh, to uh, this point, and then we here we have uh, the setting for the outer focus. Press it again, and we go to manual focusing. So if you go to manual focusing, just by turning the 
at the at the lens the, the focus ring the camera will make a um, make magnifies the picture and as you see down there just turn again see here down, see down there it says 10 times if you turn the dial it goes to 14 or it goes up to five times magnifying so um, it's very good and it's very easy you see here to change and you see there's the uh, point where the, out of the, where the focus field is and by just just putting just putting the uh, the point where you want so and now you see it's on another place so um, that's you see it gets smaller and it gets bigger so the manual focusing with the camera is very easy um, and um, you can you can just put the focus on a on a real small point in the picture and get a very nice depth of field very small depths of field um, if you work with a with a um, a uh, big aperture like uh, 2.8 or uh, 3.0. So that's one very important uh, point and it's very easy to use I think. And another very interesting point is the touch screen. Let's go back to um, let's go back to the um, uh, autofocus setting. We go back here and then we make a single autofocus. So, and here, as you see, we have a, a sign for the for a touch focus, and it's now it's off, and I will turn it on. So, you see, there's the sign for a touch focusing, and another I press it again. We have uh, not only the, the focus, but we have uh, also the shutter release. So, if I press here, um, just a second. Oops, no, it's a little bit difficult. It's a little bit difficult from the other side. So now here we are. As you see now, here's a small, small button. It should should uh, say this is the shutter release. So if I press on the screen on a certain place, the camera will focus on this point and just release. So it's very easy, like if you have a, a situation um, where um, a people is in front or a person is in front and you have a background, you want to focus on the, on the person in front of you, just press and as you see the camera focus on the person and the background is uh, unsharp if you, if you use the right aperture. So it's very easy to use if you don't have a, um, um, a picture where where's the, uh, the main part is in the central. Um, I think the touch focusing, if, you, if you're used to the touch focus, um, it's a very nice feature and it works perfect for fast shooting. If you go out and, and make some uh, point and shoot pictures, um, it's very easy because really the, the, the out of focus is very fast and you always hit the, the, the right point and get the sharpness on the right point where you want. So the, the other functions um, like uh, ISO and stuff like that um, are very easy to change. We have here the, the um, different picture settings like uh, neutral, muted, portrait, monotone. Um, you have a customizing pop art, soft focus, these are the art filters. So you don't have to go to the art filters if you want the art filter. I mean, we, we have the setting here on top art, but you also can, can change the setting directly in the, in the menu if you want uh, like the sepia or dramatic tone. Dramatic tone is very nice if, you, if you're outside on a, on a cloudy day with, with a, low contrast and, and gray uh, clouds and stuff like that. Go to the, the dramatic effect and you will get real nice pictures with, 
with a little bit of uh, texture in the clouds and um, I, I like I like this feature very much and uh, I use it in, uh, on cloudy days on, on, and gray days very often to get some more dramatic pictures. Um, I like I like it very much. So um, these are the art filters you can use. So let's go to the uh, neutral setting. Um, yeah, so these are the, the most important um, settings you can make um, on the on the camera. Let's let's have a short look um, on the program dial. You have the the um, uh, exposure program. Then you have aperture and shutter speed. Um, you have the manual um, manual. Um, um, uh, settings for aperture and uh, shutter speed. As you see here, when you turn the when you turn the uh, the dial, you see that the uh, shutter speed is changed. Um, one of the the question: How can I get um, the um, the aperture to change? Because if you if you press, nothing happens, and um, so um, yeah, it's very easy. Just, um, just, no, just a second. I changed the. Just go. You see here is the exposure correction, and in manual setting you don't need an exposure correction. So that's the way. Just press the button, and you see going up and down. Change the shutter speed. Going left and right. Change the aperture. So that's the, the, the easy way to change aperture and shutter speed in the manual mode. So and then we have the video mode. Um, as I said, we have the uh, different uh, scene programs, art filters and the intelligent auto. That's the, the program or the camera um, controls the picture and looks if it's um, landscape or portrait or anything else and the camera makes tries to make the perfect settings also you can change some of the um, of the color mode and stuff like that by just putting out with a touch screen like putting out these these small settings so if you want to change anything here just press the button and you see you can change the color saturation you can just here by going up and going down so that's very easy so you can make a lot of change and you can make you can customize the the picture um, in almost any direction sharpness saturation colorness and everything you want you can change everything in the camera so it's it's um, it's I mean the, the the menus are not very easy you have to work on it you have to understand it you have to try a lot of things to understand what you can change in the menus because you have a lot of possibilities to customize the camera um, they are not only like 10 15 points there are so many points you can change and uh, individualize the camera um, so it's very important that you that you go through the menus try different settings and um, yeah you, you will you will you will see there are a lot of possibilities one thing on top here is the uh, the video button so um, you, you always can uh, start a video you don't have to to turn the dial to the video mode you always can turn every time uh, you press the button and you start a video. Yeah, so these are the, the most important settings on the Olympus uh, EPL5. Um, it's a very nice camera, the, the picture quality is uh, real good even in the, in the uh, high ISO settings. Um, the uh, um, out of focus speed is very high so as you have seen with the uh, with the touch focusing the camera is very quick um, you get the picture very fast and it's it's real nice for point and shoot 
and um, yeah, it's a very compact camera. You you, you can you can put it uh, in your hand, and it's like like uh, nobody sees that you have a camera. And if you if you turn the uh, screen up, you can you can go like this. Uh, um, I like it very much. Um, so um, you have you have everything you need. You have the different programs. You have manual. You can do everything in manual. You have. Um, uh, so different possibilities with this camera and um, even if it's if it's small and handy it's very very good also for professional photography and you have a lot of lenses from Olympus and even you can take lenses from Panasonic because Panasonic and Olympus uh, both have the micro four third system and uh, you can change the lenses between both between Panasonic and Olympus so you have a lot of lenses uh, to choose from Olympus has a, a lot of um, nice um, zoom lenses and some nice uh, portrait lenses they have a 16 millimeter or 60 millimeter lens and it's, uh, yeah, it's 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 real nice, and um, um, you you have a big uh, choice between uh, different lenses, and every time they make new lenses, and they make real real good lenses. Yeah, so this is a quick review of the uh, Olympus EPL5, the newest pen of um, the the Olympus system. Um, nice camera and um, yeah i hope you like my review and i hope you enjoyed my uh, short video um, if you want you can go to my internet site www.reifsfotobude.de there's a review unfortunately only in german of the epl5 and also the epm2 the mini um, of olympus also the a, a new member of the pan family uh, I would uh, I would uh, thank you for viewing me and uh, hope you will uh, see my next videos and uh, till then uh, bye bye.